In this video, we're going to use a micrometer to measure within one ten thousandth of an inch the thickness of a pen. Now granted, a pen has a little bit of flex to it, so we'll take that into account. This is just to demonstrate the micrometer. So, with this micrometer, I can get to one ten thousandth of an inch. Before we use it, we make sure it's zeroed. I've already done that. But turn that to make sure that it's snugged up at zero. Now, grip the micrometer in such a way that you can open it with one hand. We hold the piece you want to measure in the other hand. This may take a moment for me to get it open. Make sure the piece is set the way you need it. Snug it up. And now you can begin reading. I'm going to zoom so you can see it better. So, here's the reading that we have right now. The one is one tenth of an inch, the two is two tenths, so that's point two. Then we look at the little gradations after it. There's a point zero two five, point zero five zero, point zero seven five, so seventy five one thousandths. So point zero seven five inches. Then we read the dial here to see what else we have to add. And we've got 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Looks like it's hitting 15. Yeah, pretty close. We're going to call it a hit. So that's 15 one thousandths of an inch. So it's 0 0.015 inches. And then to get the 10 thousandth, we have to look around the dial till we find a line that hits exactly. From an alignment perspective, I want to make sure that focuses for you. Yep. You can see that it's the seven or the eight. I'm going to say the eight looks better. So that's eight ten thousandths of an inch. And in my viewfinder, it looks like that's visible, so I'm hoping it's visible for you. So then I add, it's eight ten thousandths. So it's the fourth decimal place tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousandths. Now I can add them up. That's an 8, that's a 10, carry 1, that's a 9, that's a 2. 0 0.2908 inches is the thickness of that pen. So as a reminder, zero the device first. Sorry. Spin it out to the measure you need, holding it in such a way that you can hold it with one hand to move in either direction, snug it up, then read your tenths, your thousandths, also when you're reading your tenths don't forget the point zero two five, the point zero five zero, the point zero seven fives, your thousandths, and then rotate until you find the matching lines to determine what your ten thousandth is.